Hey everybody, uh, just want to show you what I've been doing uh, over the last couple of weeks. And uh, this is the first couple of uh, buildings on this uh, background wall. Remember, uh, all along that wall up to there, along the wall, there was uh, some 3D printed background buildings that I made. And uh, these are the uh, first couple that I painted. And as I get closer, you know, I mean, they still need some more work. I, this is just the initial stuff. I wanted to make sure that things were looking good. But um, you can see these are uh, 3D printed uh, water towers, got down pipe, uh, just uh, made these. I mean, they just take a few minutes to make and uh, put it up on top of the building. And then there, that building there, is, this is a uh, uh, modular kit. That, I put together like 20 years ago, and uh, I did find out this wall is actually upside down. So I just painted the uh, the swirls over the top of the windows like they're supposed to be over on here. But you know, hey, I'm not going to fix it after 20 years. Uh, this here uh, I call the flat iron building is just uh, uh, a simple design I put together just to kind of fit in that area. And I'll be working on, I think there's about seven or eight more buildings that, that go over there that'll cover that entire area up to where that track is up there. So, but uh, that's some of the things I've been trying to get done in between. Uh, my mom has been in the hospital this week uh, and uh, I just got her back today. So, uh, but anyway, she's doing, she's doing fine. And, uh, but anyway. Uh, I wanted to show you one other thing, so we'll take a break here, and I'll get back to you. I'm back. The other thing I did was uh, I found this, uh, another one of these uh, Broadway Limited sheep cars, stock cars, on their refurbished site for $30 off of retail, and I just couldn't pass it up. So it's a great northern which is fine. Uh, it'll run with one of my uh, uh, connecting uh, lines in and out of here. So uh, that just gives me another car. So I, I just like these uh, cars that have the sounds in them. I, I think they add a lot to the background for your railroad. So, But anyway, I just wanted to let you know I got that. And uh, they always uh, have interesting stuff there. Um, Sometimes I got some stuff at 50% off, and uh, so uh, it's a good place to look every now and then. So anyway, take care. We'll see you next time. There she goes. Bye-bye. Okay, the other thing I was working on today, just, just briefly, is a uh, very quick consisting of these, these two engines. They actually have the same number. Uh, 9960 on both of them got them from uh, Mike Pfeiffer good price and uh, what I did was this one is 9960 and I made this one 9961 it's written on the bottom so just in case I get it mixed up but they're gonna stay together I don't these are the only two uh, Burlington freight engines that I have and I wanted them to pull the uh, uh, freight train that I uh, had created for them so but anyway uh, I did like I say a quickie one and uh, they run pretty good together is maybe a little bit of an adjustment but uh, I just did the quick one where you set CV 2 to 2 6 to 128 and 5 to 154 and uh, that's generally pretty good for the Kados with the digit track so I'm going to move it on up and let it be on the front of the engines, or the, excuse me, the freight train. Thank you for watching. Bye. And due to the construction in, in this area over here, I, I couldn't run the engines all the way up. So we had to do the manual lift and bring them up here. So uh, there's the, uh, the caboose for the CB and Q. And here's all, uh, it's got a bunch of empty uh, stock cars. I think it's taken up to Chicago. And it's got a couple of Santa Fe 
refrigerator cars and there's the two engines. So that train is sitting on uh, track 13 right now. And uh, it, it has been worked into the schedule and when I'm able to run trains all the way around, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, I am going to do a day here at Union Station so you can see all the movements uh, of both the uh, passenger and uh, freight trains. So, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I appreciate all my subscribers and all the comments that everybody makes, good and bad, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.